Hi, Liz and Annie here again. And this video we are trying to show you a way that you can adjust the view settings with your video when using Zoom so that you can show students a screen that has you speaking and instructing side by side with your lecture materials, whether using PowerPoint or a PDF or whatever. So for this, like the first thing I want to do is walk everybody through the different viewing options for these videos. So I have Annie as my student in my Zoom room. I'm the host and the instructor for this demonstration. And up here you have a button when you're in a Zoom room, whether you're the host or not, that lets you toggle between different views. So right now I have it on speaker view. No, excuse me, I have it on gallery view. It shows you the option for the one that you're not on, so you can click on it and change it. When I clicked on it, it changed to speaker view, so that's what I'm in right now. And so Annie's muted and not talking on this video right now, but if she were speaking, the video that I see on my screen would switch between me and whoever was speaking. So this is a way to like make people kind of nauseous if a lot of people are talking on one of these meetings. I would recommend, we would recommend that you use gallery view if it's important to see a bunch of people's videos, like for your TA's discussion sections, this would be important. Um, when you're just lecturing and you don't necessarily want 100 or 200 or 300 or 600 people's videos kind of like uh, bumping you from the top or like interrupting you every time somebody rustles a paper or like drops a pen or coughs or clears their throat or something, what you can do is uh, two things. You can go in and manage participants. You can mute all. So it doesn't matter how many people in your room, you can mute everybody all at once and then they can unmute themselves or like I'll do it. I can uncheck this, so if I really wanted to, I could say everyone's muted and no one's allowed to unmute. So that might be a good idea, especially for the bigger lectures. Okay, but everybody is muted for now. Annie has the right or ability to unmute herself, or I can go over here and unmute her if I wanted to allow her to say something. Okay, but that's a good way to minimize like a lot of weird video jittering uh, just based on who is making a tiny bit of noise or doesn't have themselves muted or have headphones in. Okay, so the different views are speaker view or gallery view. So we're in gallery view, so all the participants are being shown to you equal space side by side. If we had 10 people in here, you'd see 10 different videos all populating the screen. What I also, we want to recommend that you do is have your students go in. Everyone has to do this, unfortunately, from their side as the user. So to make the experience as consistent as possible, have your students go in, hover over your instructor video, and there's options up here. So I don't think participants are able to mute the instructor, they won't see this, but there is this three dot button, click on that, and students can pin a video. So I had mine pinned, I can unpin it, and then when I click on it again, I can pin it. So what that does, whether I'm in gallery view or speaker view, is make my window my video the predominant default one so it won't toggle or jitter back and forth depending on who's speaking that's going to be important when you start to screen share when you want to share your materials with your class so annie's my student we can both see each other if i had a giant class though i could also go into my preferences and set it so that i don't see displayed on my screen like a black box with people's names if they don't have their video going or i could even ask all my students to turn their video off Okay, but for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to share your screen. Uh, okay, with our accounts, we have multiple options. So the basic tab has a lot of different things that you might want to play around with. If I didn't want my video and I just wanted to show them my slides, I could click on this one under the basic options tab that's just showing them my PowerPoint window. So they'll still be able to hear me, but they won't see my video anymore. They'll just see that. That's what I'm going to show you because I think people have questions about how to have their lecture video displayed next to their uh, slides or their course materials. So I'm going to instead click on portion of screen, then click share. And now it's only sharing this tiny little window of my screen. So what I need to do is make that big enough to cover whatever it is that I want them to see. So I can make this my full screen if I want to. The recording software I'm using to capture this is capturing my full screen so you can see the difference in the windows. Okay, so now I still have video. Annie can still see me, right Annie? Yeah, okay, so she can still see me. My video gets smaller, but I have options up here. 
So I can show active speaker only, basically get rid of all my participants and like grab that little corner and drag it to make it a little bigger. So because I am pinned and I'm the only one who's unmuted, I'm the default video that students will have here. So I can have the video of me lecturing or talking to the students next to whatever materials I want to show them. So uh, one thing that's kind of annoying is that we haven't yet figured out how you can be in presenter view with your PowerPoint and have this video on top of it, but we're working on that. So if we figure that out, we'll update this tutorial. But for now, you certainly could do side by side with your video, pin your video so it's the one that's always at the top or the only one that students are seeing next to your slide. So you'll also be able to see yourself, which is nice so that you know, like, uh, if you're making a weird face or you're like doing so, or your cat is in the background running back and forth like mine is right now, but your students are able to see both. Okay, so I can go up here when I'm done and I stop sharing the screen. It takes me right back to the normal Zoom window. I can minimize that if I don't want to see it by clicking again on Manage Participants. And I think that ought to get you started. So good luck with using different uh, viewing options, speaker and gallery view, pinning your video so you're the one that appears as the default for all of your students, and sharing your video side by side with some materials that your students need to see.